creating freeform shapes, creating a box. Now, freeform is like we're making things out of clay. In other words, we're actually going to design a box or shape of a rectangle type scenario. Uh, so I'm going to go in my 3D model, I'm going to go over to freeform. And I got the down arrow, I'm going to check, make sure I'm on the box. I get a dialog box. I'll, it says pick the plane. I'll pick my XY plane. And then I get dialog box for the box. I can choose any length of box I want. I'll say I want a 6 inch uh, by 3 inch. Okay, so I can set. And the height is 1 inch. And I can choose how many faces I want in the length. Uh, in these, the more faces you have, the more subdivisions in the box you'll get. Um, so I'll, I'll come back to that later. And in the direction, I can have it coming out towards me, or I can have it equally on both sides of the plane. I'm going to check that I want the length, width, and height symmetrical. So it's going to go halfway to the left, halfway to the right, halfway coming at us, halfway deep, halfway up and down, etc. And so now it's asking me to specify the center of this freeform box. So I'm going to come up and just pick right here at 0, 0, and it generates that box. You'll notice that it's kind of freeform like it's made out of clay in some regards. So I can, when I'm done, I finish the freeform box, and you can see that it has various types of. Uh, uh, shapes here, little hunks that can be edited. So let's go back and undo that. And we'll do that again. We're going to go up the box. I'm going to pick the XY plane. I'm going to choose some length, such as six, and I'll go with four. This time I'm going to change how many faces I have. And I'm going to go with six on the width, and I'm going to go with maybe four on the faces uh, for the width here. And again, I'll keep the same settings I had last time. And I'm going to pick in the center where I want this box to be. It'll generate the box. And you'll notice now there's more subdivisions, more little tessellization lines. And it allows me more freedom of manipulating this box when I have more faces. So now I can actually pick on these faces and edit these. And we'll learn how to do that later. But the more faces you have, the more possibilities of editing this form. And when I'm done, I finish the free form.